remember the story that the great grandma Lofton, when y'all you would be sitting around the fireplace. I remember her one time with Daddy and all Daddy and Berta and Mama and, and I don't know who else. And a lot of your family were around the fireplace. But what was so amazing, they they said, was there she sat over there in the corner of the fireplace, smoking her cigar. Cigar. Smoking the cigar. Was that one at a? I thought yeah. it was a pipe. Yeah. One out of Beatty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I never did see that, but um, I've heard Roy and Daddy both tell that at the breakfast table. About but, her liking the smoke. Yeah, liking the smoke, but it was amazing that she was sitting over there all cuddled up and with quilts and stuff around her and smoking her pipe. <laughs> was it a pipe? It was a pipe. It wasn't a cigarette. It was a pipe. It's a pipe. That's what's so funny about being a pipe. I remember seeing her one time, I think. And the little baby that Lois was talking about, her mother had lost after they uh, got it and so forth. They buried that baby in the mother's arms. I thought that was amazing. Now, which one was this? Who was this? I'm going to tell that again. You remember your, your mother when she lost the baby? You're talking about Josephine when Josephine she died. Josephine lost her baby. You remember? You told me one time we was at church. My, my mother. That, that she buried the little baby in her arms. I don't remember it now. You don't remember it now? No. But that's what was told to me. They buried it with her when she died. I tell you, my mother, I was told Josephine just the other day that my mother went around in the house singing. She had all those children, but she went around the house singing, and she sang. I love to tell the story and the old songs like that. She liked those good old hymns, huh? Mm -hmm. The hymns, and she'd sing them. And and there's one thing I remember that she told us too. Uh, in the Proverbs, it says, I think that's where she got it. A good name is rather be chosen than great riches. I remember my mother telling us that. And she put some scriptures to us. I guess she went to, I have an idea she went to all it down here when, when she raised up down close to the river. Down there. Your mama went to all of it Baptist church? No, that she did, but I figured she You figure did. she probably did. But, I, but my grandparents were buried at Concord. I think they really joined the church at Concord. Mm -hmm. But I bet she went to the all of it too, you know, like young people do to different churches at times. Tell tell us about the little village where you lived, Lois. The what? The village where your your daddy lived over on the Murphy Jones Road. Uh -huh. When you go out on Alley Road, you go halfway out there, there's a road uh, before you get to the end that used to go down into the field. And back in there, behind there, is where y'all lived. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell him about all the houses that was back there and who all lived back there in those houses. Well, Mr. Eston Harbor lived across the branch. There's a branch run between us there. And I, I remember Miss Lily Harbor coming over to our house one Sunday afternoon, and and she she went to church at Center, too, and, and she had several children, too. And she, little Willard, our, my little brother, 16 months old, uh, had that. What you call it? About that bowel trouble that killed so many little babies. Got some diarrhea. Yeah, and and he died. But she was over there the Sunday after Sunday afternoon before he died. I forget what day he died. Now was it the Sunday? Maybe the next day. But that was a sad, sad time for us. And uh, and I remember I was down there on the hill down towards the spring when she started back home, coming that way. And, and I said, do you think he's any better? Willard's any better? She didn't say she thought he was any better, but she said, we'll not leave you all alone. And they was good neighbors back then, the neighbors all around. And you know now, a neighbor just don't, right close to you, they just pay no attention to it. But you, your daddy and mama lived there. Yeah. And then on down the road or across from you somewhere, mm -hmm. a grandpa Lon and them lived. 
And then who else lived there besides them? It was several houses on that road. I remember, you remember the road that went by our house down to the, it was a Johnson family lived down there. And uh, it was me and the, that Russell Taylor, I believe it was, he's a big old boy, went to school with Walden. Well, and, and that Johnson girl, she had black hair and, and she had lice. And that, that and that, Russell Taylor said something about one sitting up there picking a banjo. I remember him saying that. Was that mean though? That was mean of him. Giving her a hard time. Well, back then they didn't have the things to work with that they have now.